Hi guys, Robo46 here. Welcome yourselves back to Moto GP19 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with our Moto E World Cup Little Championship. So we've done two races. We've got four races left to go. The next two are both at Mizano, and then the last two are both at Valencia. So let's get on with it and get on with qualifying or E poll. So the uh, free practice went well. I was quick, it's only just, but uh, it, it did take me a few few laps to get kind of readjusted and actually get onto some decent pace, otherwise I was about a second off, so it took me a few laps just to get up to speed, so yeah, it's uh, all or nothing on this lap for the E-Pole, which is effectively Super Pole, just so, just get one flying lap, you do get a... Uh, a sight and lap, an out lap, um, but I don't really bother with that because just wasting tyres. So, yeah, straight into a flying lap, and uh, we set a personal best at the moment, so it's not on course for pole, but it's pretty damn close. We're about tenth off at the moment, just over a tenth off. Demeglio's time or De Demelio. I know some people say that the G's uh, silent, but I've heard so many people say it both ways, so it seems to be a bit 50 50. I mean, personally, I used to say Demelio uh, without saying the G, but um, just got so used to people saying it with the G that it uh, just kind of went with it, so yeah. Alright, so we're still a tenth off, so should be hopefully front row. I don't think it's going to be pole. I don't think we're going to make that time up. So just a run to the line. 138.4 to beat. And we've done a... 137.9? Okay. Literally just on pole. Yeah, Eric Granado actually moved up second. So that was close time. So, Mizano, five laps I think it is. So let's see what we can do around here. Soft, soft, because it's just pointless going for anything else when we're only doing five laps. On the starting grid. Riders are deep in concentration with just a few seconds to go until this San Marino Grand Prix begins. Okay. So, silence on the grid as there are no revs whatsoever. Here we go. Round three and we have lost a position already. Lost two places already. Don't want to lose another one. That's Bradley Smith there trying to go around the outside. Has it worked for him? Almost got boxed in myself, but we are remaining in third for now. Just behind Granado. Bradley going a bit wide there. So Demeglio out front. Bradley going wide again. So our championship, or main championship rival, is out in the lead. We're in third. So, if I can, try and get past Granado and see if we can catch back up to the leader and uh, get past him. It's just so, so strange, these uh, electric bikes. Very weird. When I rode the, um, the free ride E in uh, Austria, it was, it was really bizarre because it's... Obviously, you, you haven't really got any noise. You've got like a, a little bit of uh, like a whistling noise like we got now, which sounds like a bloody kettle boiling. So, um, yeah, and then like, obviously, because you don't have a clutch or anything, you just got your rear brake on the left and your front brake on the right. So it's a little bit weird. Obviously, you've got no gears to worry about either. I mean, the electric KTMs we rode, they didn't have any... The, the rear brake was pure, purely on the handlebars uh, on the left side. So there was no actual foot rear brake. So we are closing in on Demeglio. Might be able to get past him pretty soon. Hopefully we can like I said, he is our main championship rival, so depending on how we finish will depend on who will lead the championship after this race. 
that we can get underneath him. Yeah, we took a, a wider sweeping line there and got the better drive at the corner. So we're back into the lead after starting on pole position. On lap two of five, is he going to fight back or? Oh, he tried to, but the door was slammed shut right in his face. So there will not actually be, as I go very wide, take a very late apex. Yeah, there will not actually be a league race this Sunday because I am off to Thruxton for British Superbikes. Um, and I'm not going to be back in time to be able to run the league race. So there will not be a league race this weekend. I will be in Thruxton instead. Um, yeah, so it's like it's going to be a good weekend. If there's anyone out there who's going to Thruxton as well, hope you have a fantastic time. I, mean, I always tend to go to Thruxton every year. A bit wide there. But yeah, looking forward to it. So yeah, I will be at Thruxton on Sunday for race day for British Superbikes. The weather has changed and is, is looking like it's going to be alright now, the weather. Um, earlier on during the week it was looking a bit dodgy. But uh, it's looking like it's going to be quite a nice day. So, all good. So we're just at the fastest lap of the race. We're on lap 3 of 5 now. And we are pulling away. So... It seems to be the same old kind of thing with the AI with this game is that you know most of the time if you hit the front you can pretty much pull away quite easily. We've got 1.2 second lead. So yeah, sometimes you might struggle to catch them, sometimes it might take you ages to catch them, then as soon as you get past them they just seem to kind of almost drop like a stone. There's been a few occasions where they've dropped and then caught me back up and repassed me. Uh, but that seems to be a bit of a rarity. But yeah, 1.4. So yeah, the gap is slowly going up. So I think we're looking alright for this one. And yeah, like I said, the next race is here as well. So we've got two races at Mazzano. And two at Valencia, I think it is. So yeah, six races in total. But only actually four, um, four different tracks. We've obviously had Satsum Ring, Austria, and now we're here at Mazzano, and then, yeah, the final round as well, which is two races. I did see that they're on about putting um, an FP3 in for the Moto E's come the next round. Um, so, obviously, at the moment, they only have FP1 and 2, and then uh, E pole, then the race. So, um,. Yeah, they didn't even have, like, morning warm-up either, which is a little bit bizarre. But when they were at Satsum Ring, the first time they went out on the bikes on the Sunday was when they were on, getting ready for to go for the race. So, yeah, they are going to get an extra practice session. So they will be having three free practice sessions before they do the e-poll. Which is, a, is, is good in a way because it gives the riders a bit, bit more time to kind of figure out the bikes a bit more because obviously it's all a bit new to everyone and I know that they had testing and stuff like that but it just gives them more time with the bikes themselves and understanding them a bit more and for the, those um, that uh, miss some of the testing it gives them a little bit more time to try and you know catch up a bit so we're on the penultimate lap going a bit wild oh that was a bit wild Went over the kerb, all the way over the outside, and uh, that was almost a crash. That wouldn't have been good. Lost us quite a bit of time as well, 1.1. So Bradley Smith just moved up to fourth, just ahead of Randy Depunier. Through the final corner, Nicky Tooley is way down, considering he actually won the first race in real life at Satsum Ring. He's, um, yeah, a bit too far down. So 1.5 now, so yeah, the gap's gone back up by 0.4 of a second. We are on the final lap now. Bradley Smith and Depunier still fighting for fourth place. I think the second and third are pretty safe. There seems to be a tiny gap between third and fourth. So there may not actually be many more changes for the podium. 
So 1.6 we got. We've got this one in the bag. Considering the first race was a little bit tricky, but I think that was mainly down to the fact that um, FP2 was wet and I didn't really do too much practice in that. So when it came to doing a, a quick lap on in the dry, that was e-pole for me. And uh, couldn't put a decent time in because I'd done no practice in the dry. So, yeah, we managed to recover a little bit in the race and get the fourth. And then Austria, we managed to get a win. Here, we are on course for a win as well because we had a nice dry um, free practice. Even if race two is is wet and I have to do a wet... Um, that guy's arm's fallen off. Uh, yeah, if we have to do wet free practice again, um, then yeah, it won't be too much of a problem if come the race it's dry because I've done quite a bit of practice now in the dry. And across the line we go. So, Mizano race one done. 2.1 we won Let's by in the end. 137.8 was my quickest time. All right. So championship, we are now leading by three whole points. So it is very tight at the top at the moment. I have realized that Keith Ewan doesn't actually speak in this bit at all in the Moto E class. Which is a little bit strange, but it's fine. So yeah, good win. Now we've got it all to do again. Exactly the same place. So we have to uh, we have to do free practice in qualifying again for uh, race two of Mizano. Okay. So I'm looking to be on pole position again, considering we had it last time. So yeah, it's really weird doing the same track twice in a row. Very weird. But I guess, you know, if you do well in the first race, you should technically do well in the second race because you got a few more laps under your belt. Okay, so no time has actually come up on the screen to tell me what the pole position time is at the moment. But it does tell me that we're less than a, a tenth of a second over the time. So we're pretty close. But yeah, it's not telling me what the actual pole position time is at the moment or, or who is on provisional pole. That's obviously glitched a little bit there. Yet we're still very, very close time-wise. See if we can pick up a little bit more time through the third and fourth sectors. And hopefully maybe take another pole position. What's this split going to be? Oh, we're a tenth off. But last time we were about a tenth off at this point as well. We managed to bring it back. So hopefully we can do the same. What, what did we do last time? 137.9. See if we can do something similar or even quicker. Oh, I think that was 137.9 one again. So yeah, we are just on pole position again. Right, five laps again. See what we can do. Wow. The first race is anything to go by. We should get another win. I know some people don't like Moto E. And I know some people have been saying that they want me to... Uh, do the career stuff. Like I said, I'm doing this first. It's only going to be three videos long, this series. And this is the second video. So there's only literally one more video to come out. And then we're going to be back on career mode. So I will be coming back to career mode beginning of next week. So don't worry. I haven't forgotten about career mode. I'm not stopping career mode. I'm just uh, taking a tiny, tiny break just to do this. And then we will get back on career mode when we... Uh, Go back to the Red Bull KTM squad. Oh, that was another almost crash there. 
Really kicked the rear end out, spinning it up too much. So we're in third. We're behind Granado and Bradley Smith leading at the moment. Oh, that's uh, someone trying to get underneath that. Nicky Tooley's in 12th place, so he's not having a good time. Oh, trying to go around the outside of Granado. That's probably not going to work. It hasn't, and we've lost another place as well. So we have lost uh, a place to Raffin there. Now, Raffin won the first race at Satsum Ring. So Jesco Raffin was leading the championship initially. So he is kind of a championship threat. I didn't really take much notice what he got in the last race. But yeah. Just to try and beat all three of them if I can. But we're going to end lap number one in fourth place. We're right on the back of Raffin now. Maybe able to get a good run out. And we do. Can we get two into one? Yes, I think we can into turn one. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, we haven't made it stick yet. We've got the inside, though. So we're up to second place eventually. Now we've got to hunt down Bradley Smith. Try and well, we're almost on the back of him already, so we definitely have the pace to win again. Slipstream him and then get him on the brakes into La Quercia. Here we go on the brakes and quite of a bit of a defensive line, but it worked. We are leading, and that may be all she wrote for the AI. So we've almost got half a second already. So we have actually had another update recently, which was to uh, improve the AI at a, a couple of the tracks and some other little fixes. So yeah, they're still bringing out the patches to try and uh, improve the game. I'm still waiting on for one for uh, race director mode. Where the game doesn't get confused when there's more than 12 people in the lobby and then starts freaking out and crashing and kicking people out the lobby. Right, so Raffin up to second, Bradley down to third. We are leading onto lap 3, 138 1. Fastest lap of the race so far. 1.1 second lead. It's all going well. Matteo Ferrari's just got past Garzo. Granado and Smith still fighting. So Raffin's still in second, 1.3 behind. Hector Garzo just got past Matteo Ferrari and Depunier as well. And Depunier's got Garzo back. So yeah, there's me uh, saying that I'm off to Thruxton this weekend. There is also MotoGP this weekend, Bruno. So MotoGP back after their very short summer break now because obviously they've uh, got more races to do in a season. They don't have so long off for the summer, but they are back this weekend to race at Bruno in the Czech Republic. Bruno is a nice track. Hopefully we'll get some good racing there as well. I will obviously have to uh, record all the racing because, uh, like I said, I'll be at Thruxton. Enjoying the sunshine because it will be sunny because it is summer and it's not going to rain. Even though we have had a couple of days where it's absolutely pissed it down. So a second is the gap. So the gap is actually starting to just slowly come down. Which is a little bit concerning. See what the next split says. Granado up to second now. So he's got Raffin. Savadori up to eighth. Point eight is under a second. The gap is under a second. So if 
if we can get that gap back up a bit. Yeah, back up to a second. Thank you very much. So we haven't been able to pull away as much as we did in race one around here. Let's see what the next split says, but it's looking good. It's looking like it's going back up again. It's not. It's come down. It's 0.7. That's the lowest that gap has been for uh, quite some time since like the beginning of the race before we got onto the lead. Josh Hook has just got up to uh, sixth place. So we've got one lap to go. The gap is coming down. I think we will be able to hold on because what is the gap across the line? A second. Josh Hook has just put the fastest race uh, lap of the race in 138.0. So they're obviously going a little bit quicker than me, so I'm going to have to try and put in a good lap on this final lap. See if I can do a fastest lap of the race on the final lap. I'm hoping that I can. Raffin back up to second, demoting Granado to third. 0.9 behind, so yeah, that gap is uh, under a second again. Oh, Savadori's uh, just got ahead of Demeglio, so that is good. That's really going to help us out in the championship because uh, he is in 8th place. So he's not having a good race this time. We are pretty much repeating what we've done in the first race, just by not as big a margin. So we're getting to the last part of the lap. Two quick right-handers. One gone. Here comes number two. Okay. 1.3. Yeah, we got this. We've only got two corners left to go. DeAngelis up to fourth. And back down to fifth. And we are going through the final corner as those two are still fighting. And we are going to win race two at Mazzano. Two races to go. That is uh, almost job done, I would say. Well, the ride has See what the gap lap. is. Let's check out the final race but yeah, I did actually set the fastest lap of the race on the last lap. Just. It was a tiny bit quicker than Josh Hook's lap. So there we go. Both races at Mazzano done. Championship, and what does that look like now? 20 points. Sweet, so we just got to score six points in the next race, or six more points more than Demeglio. And that's it, we'll be done with one race to go. It's the thing with the championship, you can't afford to have any DNFs really, because uh, as soon as the championship's begun, it's going to be finishing again. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. So a big, big thank you for everyone who watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video when we do the last two races. See you.